on that way. Yes. And then, at later time, before it left by sunset, it moves behind that tree. Mm -hmm. You have seen the picture, and there I got three pictures I by see. my photo camera. So, okay. how many hours are together from uh, the beginning? All together, I've been here up for about two hours. Two hours? Yeah. How many pictures did you take? Uh, between 70, 90, 100, I don't know exactly. Hmm. Most of them I lost somewhere, stolen, <laughs> I don't know. The film and photographs taken here on the windswept ridge of Hasenbol were the most impressive. After comparing the stills taken in 1976 with the actual location, Billy and Junichi walk and measure the site. The distance from the camera to the tree was 52 yards. The height of the tree was 31 feet, and the diameter was 21 feet, which visually correlated to the reported size of the beam ship. When it was going down the sun, all the by the sunset, mm -hmm. it moves here behind, a mm -hmm. few meters behind the tree, and then I got here three pictures. Oh. And the sun was somewhere there behind over the horizon. And how many minutes it stayed here? Oh, this was maybe 20 seconds, 30 seconds, not more. Mm -hmm. And in that time I got these three pictures. It was maybe, I don't know exactly, maybe five meters behind, three meters behind, I don't know. And when was it, this one? Uh, that was 1976, I think. Mm. 76? Yeah. Should be autumn. It was evening time. Mm -hmm. But the time I don't remember exactly. But I think it's a very huge one. Like this. Um, mm -hmm. And where was the uh, UFO? Uh, about three to five meters here somewhere behind here. the tree. Yeah. yeah, somewhere here up. Oh. And nothing behind the tree? There is nothing behind the tree. A deep valley, that's all. Right. But this ship is very huge, mm -hmm. maybe seven meter. Seven meter across. This is the scenery when, what, which you take the UFO itself. Yeah, when it was hanging there over the hill. Yeah. Now there was up a couple of trees, cut the trees. Yes. Was it Pleiadian or Pleiadian? Yeah, it was Semyasi. Semyasi? Yeah. Uh -huh. So you heard her voice? Yeah, in Only my head voice. by telepathic way. I see. And uh, how was the size? How big was that? Uh, seven meters. Seven meters? Yeah. Have you All seen? the chips, what uh, she has, mm -hmm. they are by seven meters in diameter. Have you seen the inside of the interior of the UFO? Yeah, I many times was inside the ship. Mm -hmm. They took me up to other place and so. How did it look like? Uh, you have uh, many very, machines? Very, a very modern thing, you know, with small televisions, mm -hmm. apparatus and everything. Mm -hmm. Looks like a factory. Oh. Uh, uh, a watching central, you know. Mm -hmm. I see. So do they have a bed to sleep? No, it isn't a bed. There are three seats in it. Mm. And they can change them and then they can sleep in it. Oh, I see. It's very big for them. Mm. So it should be somewhere around here? here? Oh, or? I think it was more that side. Yes. Here about there's log. What? Yes. Wood. 
a long walk, yeah. Mm -hmm. And the ship, I think, it was somewhere here. Up. Yeah. Between here and there. Between here and there, yeah. Yeah. Oh, what's this about? 110, 120 meters from here to there. Did you try to close to it? Did you try to walk down to close to the uh, UFO? No, you see, if I take pictures, they always tell me you have to stay there. Oh. We will be here and you have to be there. Ah, I see. I can't go so close to get uh, some special things on the picture, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It doesn't fill out. Oh. Months earlier, three 35 millimeter stills had been extensively analyzed. This one was coded the woodpile scene and had been examined by Neil Davis, a physicist and aerospace engineer. He tested them with a microdensitometer and determined that the analysis of the separations did not reveal any details that would cast doubt on their authenticity. The conclusion of his report states, nothing was found in the examination that would cause me to believe the object in this photograph is anything other than a large object photographed some distance from the camera. The photographs were not the only physical evidence undergoing detailed scrutiny. Marcel Vogel, a senior scientist and chemist with IBM, had been carefully analyzing the tiny metal fragments Simyasa had given Billy. Metallurgical analysis had revealed the presence of the rare earth element thulium, but it was through the lens of a scanning electron microscope that Vogel made his most amazing discoveries. I could not explain the type of material that I have and its discreteness by any known combination of materials. I could not put it together myself as a scientist. If I were to take these combinations and put it into a furnace, melt it, mm -hmm. then pour it out and pull a little ingot, I would see the, all of these elements present there mm -hmm. in any one area. Mm -hmm. But I don't. I see this discrete bits of material. Now, it can only happen by some form of a cold fusion process where you have the elements present mm -hmm. and you fuse them together so they still maintain their identity but they interpenetrate into one another. Mm -hmm. It's also a challenge because I showed it to one of my friends who was a metallurgist and he shook his head. He said,